Hello everyone and welcome to another book review. This time I'll be reviewing The Miracle of Castel de Sangro by Joe McGinnis. So, this book interestingly enough is written in the first person perspective by this man in his own perspective. So it's kind of like uh, I forget the style of I forget the name <laughs> the the name of that style, but he kind of documents his time with this team in Italy. So uh, let's go. Let's start with the plot. So basically, uh, Joe McGinnis in the early 90s started to first. Oh, it was in 1994 when the World Cup was in the USA. Uh, he had no interest in soccer until the all of a sudden that the America was hosting the World Cup. And then all of a sudden he said, you know what? I'm really into this. He just got into it. He started watching it, um, started following it more. And then um, why Italy specifically, why Italian specifically was a player, Roberto Baggio, that uh, basically carried the team on his shoulders through that tournament. I'm not going to get into that and I'm not going to get into my bias of being Italian too much. But that's the that's the foundation. So then because he was an author, he started like really just thinking how can I write about soccer so he started really following about he started really following soccer and uh, specifically Italian soccer but not only Italian soccer he also followed the other uh, clubs from the different parts of the world and uh, then he said you know what I'm gonna write about something about soccer and then coincidentally this team called Castel de Sangro from this tiny tiny town in Italy also named after that is Castel de Sangro is the name of the town. Uh, it's this tiny town in Italy had like moved up the the, the ladders of Italian soccer over the years, um, and against all odds, really, because to make it to the where they to make it as high as they made it to, it was um, unprecedented. Really, it was really hard for them to do that. Anyway, going off topic. So this team makes it to the second tier division called Serie B in Italy. And that's where uh, Joe McGinnis goes and he stays with the team the whole season as they try to not lose their spot in that division, in that in that level. So they have to finish... Uh, they cannot finish in the bottom four. Anything higher than the bottom four, then they can stay in Serie B. So the whole sh book is him following the players, their lives... Um, seeing how the inner workings of like the culture and how soccer is Italian culture to in some parts of Italy, not everywhere, but uh, so he that's what this book is. Okay, I read this book funny enough while I was in Italy. It, it was just a kind of a coincidence, so I was kind of like, oh, that's cool. Like I'm seeing this right now, this place and this. So, what does he do well? He does a great job. If you're not even into soccer, he explains the sport of soccer as if you've never seen soccer in your life. Because it's from his perspective, he was kind of learning how the game worked and things like that as he was going along. Uh, also, he he did a great job of showing like like the people, each player on the team, giving them a little bit of spotlight here and there. He made a very cohesive story. And as much as I'm making this sound like a serious book, it is, has some serious moments, but it's actually really funny. It's, it's well written. He writes um, when the Italian people speak with their accents. He writes, he writes how they would say it in their Italian accents. It's pretty funny, and uh, just the culture shock. That's what what was really, uh, what, I guess, what really kept me reading the book. Because from my perspective, I was like, it wasn't foreign to me. I'm. I'm Italian by by descent, so I already was familiar with all the things. But it's just interesting seeing someone's perspective who's not really used to this and seeing how they're reacting to like something that I personally find normal. But like it is not everyone's culture is different. So like when you're kind of being uh, immersed into that, it's interesting seeing someone's reading someone's perspective of what they're experiencing. What more though? What's more in this book is he highlights all the like a, a lot of the major cities in Italy, major and minor cities in Italy. He talks about the culture, 
and he talks about the the systems in, that are involved in soccer and in terms of uh, the politics, the corruption even, and and some shady things that go on behind the scenes that most people are ignorant to. So he kind of brings that to light too. This book takes place in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, and uh, it was a really great read. Uh, unfortunately, because it's based on reality and based on a true story, it kind of ends abruptly, but that is reality. Like, there is no, like... I'm not going to spoil the ending, but there's no, like, oh, and then then they miraculously went to the top division and won the league. Like, that's not going to happen. Uh, but it well, did a great job of capturing reality. So... I highly recommend reading this book. It's called Miracle of Castel de Sangro by Joe McGinnis. If you're a soccer fan or if you're even a sports fan, you'll really enjoy it. If you're not a soccer fan but you're interested in culture, Italian culture, you'll still get something out of it there. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Let's keep growing together. Keep reading and I will see you guys next time. Take care.